Hello everyone, this is Gail, and today I'm going to make uh, a request that I have had from one of my subscribers. She asked me if I could possibly do a flame cane, F-L-A-M-E, like a fl fire flame. And I referred her to my, I don't have a name for it, cane, which ended up being an iCat cane and just changing the colors, but I thought I would go ahead and attempt to um, to do one. And I have got some Primo Sunshine. This is th just plain orange. I believe it's an old color. I, if they don't make it anymore, you can always use pumpkin. And then this is pomegranate mixed with a little bit of... Uh, translucent clay. And I'm also going to use some black. Oh, and I also want to use some blue. I forgot about the blue. Let me find... I do believe I have some navy in here. Actually... I think I'm going to try... I'm going to go rogue. I think instead of using blue, I was going to use some navy, but I think I'm going to use this pump, this, uh, what is it called? Graphite pearl. I really like this color. <coughs> and I've never used it, well, I have used it, but I've never used it in a cane, and I'm curious to see what that looks like. So I'm going to use that too, but I will condition that when I'm off camera. Now, I have rolled out my sunshine clay to the number one setting and I'm going to roll this into a roll. Now you could start this with a Skinner blend but I think I will get the same um, the same effect if I, if I don't do the Skinner blend. So I've got this wrap, you know, rolled out. I'm just going to cut the ends. Make sure it's got all the air out of it. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it in orange. And I may wrap it in two sheets of orange. I don't know. Let me see what this looks like when I wrap it. And this is also, the orange is also rolled out to the thickest setting of the pasta machine. And just press that together. Um, I'm thinking I probably do want a little more orange. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to do just a little bit more orange. I'm going to roll this through. Well, I'll tell you what, I need to condition this because it's not conditioned. Let me condition this clay and I'll be right back. Okay. So I've got this rolled out again, and I'm going to add a second layer, just because I want some orange around to show around this yellow. And it looks like it, yeah, it does, it meets pretty well. Okay, so I've got the orange wrapped around it. Now I think I'm going to take just a thin, thin red. And I don't know if this is going to go around it or not. Don't think it is. I'm going to have to add a little bit more to it. And I've got some more red and translucent here somewhere. Here it is. Sorry about that. 
The reason I like adding translucent to the red is because red is a very highly pigmented color and if you don't add translucent to it, it can pretty much take over. <laughs> you know, it'll bleed into the surrounding colors and everything else. But anyway, I've got this rolled to a number four on my pasta machine. I'm going to wrap this around. Trim that off. And then I'm going to take the graphite pearl, and I do need to condition this. So I will turn the camera off and get this conditioned, and then I'll be right back. Okay, and as you can see, this is that graphite pearl. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a gray, metallic, pearlized color. I just think it's beautiful. And let's see which way this will do best. I think this way. Cut a straight edge. And I'm going to cut a straight edge on this side too. This one's not too bad. It's a little crackly, but we're going to be losing the ends anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But this is just a gorgeous color. I'm going to trim this off. And it looks like there's one little triangle here that didn't get covered. And I'm just going to fill that in with the scrap and go from there. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to mash it down and roll and mash it down and roll and the reason is I'm going to slice this into four pieces and it's easier if it's a flat if it's, it's, if it's a fat cane but it also needs to be straight on the sides so I'm going to cut this this way don't think I cut it very straight but it's close enough and then I'll cut it this way so what I'm doing is cutting this into fourths see this now you don't have to use as much clay as I did but when you've got your fourths you start pulling up the graphite pearl up the sides just pull it with your fingers and it's going to be it's not going to be even it's going to be all messed up just try to remember where your center is and this is the center here so I'm I pull it up on one side now I'm pulling it up on the other side and I'm just kind of rolling with my finger and so you end up with this you do that to all four just pull up the sides up to the you don't want to cover the yellow but just up to the maybe with barely maybe cover the orange that one didn't even cover the orange but just pull these up and try to keep them fairly flat on the ends Because we're going to be combining these in a minute. I was going to use black here, but I think the graphite pearl is just going to add some shine. It's going to make it pretty. And if we don't like it with the graphite pearl, next time we'll make it with the black. But I think this is going to be pretty. Almost finished. This is really the hardest part, is pulling this up. After this, it's just 
kind of, I don't want to say easy, but it's not complicated. All right, and I pulled that apart. Don't know why that happened. So let me just put a little piece here. I don't know why that one piece decided to crack, but that's okay. And the way this looks here doesn't really matter. It's how it's going to be put together. Okay. So now I'm going to take these four and I'm going to line them up together. Try to keep them about the same size. Then I'm going to just mash. Kind of squeeze them together. You can pull them apart and reduce it a little bit. But I think at this point, because it's so big, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to put these together. And I'm going to mash again. And it looks like I'm getting more orange than I wanted, so I probably shouldn't have added that second orange layer. I'll know better next time. So again, let's stretch it out a little bit. it's about double its length. Cut it in half. And that's what we have again. And we'll do this again. And you just keep doing this until your stripes are the size that you would like to have them. In fact, I think I'm going to roll it a little bit with my roller to flatten out that yellow a little bit so we don't totally lose it. And I think I'm going to do this one more time. Again, you just squeeze it together. Probably ought to turn it upside down and squeeze from the bottom too. Haven't been doing that, but it's been turning out okay. And again, we're going to roll it with our roller to even up the sides. And again, we're going to stretch it out till it's about twice its length. And we're going to cut it again, but this time, instead of putting it together this way, I'm going to put it together. I could either put it this way, or I can do it this way. Let me see. Well, I'll tell you what, since this was supposed to be a flame, I think I'll just pinch this down and make it into a petal shape. And then I'll pinch this If I was going to do this as an eye cat, I would have put them together. But since this is a flame, and what I'm going to do here, I'll probably still have to wrap it in black. Let me 
make this a little thinner so it will fit around. I'm going to just wrap this in black. Use your blade to help you get it up off the work surface. And this will work to hold it all together. Now you can reduce this as big, you know, leave it big. But if you wanted to make it a flame, I would pinch this end sharp. And there you go. Does that look like a flame? Probably, if I didn't have so much orange, the yellow would have come up into it a little bit more. But I still think it looks like a flame. Because, you know, there's, if you look at pictures of a flame, you've got the yellow and then you've got reds and everything. So, I think that is pretty good for a, fl a flame cane. So, I hope this is what you were looking for. The one that was looking for a flame. Or, like I said, you can take this. This isn't a very good end, but you can put it together this way. Well, let's do it this way. I'll put it with the yellow together. And then pinch the red. The side has got the end on it. But again, I would wrap this in black. And let me cut this side. Well, that side's not pointed. Let me point this end and this end. And then cut off that end. Uh, it's, it's too distorted there. But here's another eye cat. You can round this off if you want. If you don't want it to be a flame, you just want it to be an eye cat. You can round off each end. can make it rounder. But there you go. This one you could make into a flower. If you just shorten it this way. Or if you wanted a big flower, you can leave it the way it is. You can shape these a little better if you want. I think I like the black in the center. couple more here. Or just one will do. I can turn these around. It's 
spread them out a little more. And I think I would leave the black in the center. Just make a little ball. That's a little big, so I'm just going to cut it in half. Put it here in the center. Press it down. And put some little dots in it. To make a flower center. There's just so many different things you can do. Now, I know I didn't put this on a card, which I should have. Uh, where did my cards go? But you can bake this and then add, if you wanted to add some color to the center, you can with some perfect pearls. Or I like it just like that. I think that's beautiful. You can do different things to the petal ends. You can pinch them to make them pointed. You can flip them, a, you know, turn them and let them go different ways. You can pinch the petal so they're not so flat. How do you like that? So this is my tutorial for today. I will say that I did another tutorial that I was going to publish today, but I left out a very important step, so it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. So um, I will post that next week, so this way I'll, I'll have two tutorials since I'll be gone next week. But this graphite pearl, I know, can you see how it glows? Oh man, that just makes such a gorgeous flower. So I hope you like this as much as I do. And this petal here, I will probably put on my, in my Etsy store, if anybody would be interested in this. I will trim the end, or I might leave the end the way it is so I don't cut off any usable clay. But I will put this, and this is the one I did for next week. That I ended up with this one. Still kind of cool looking. Sort of looks like an animal print. But I will have both of these in my Etsy shop on the 18th. September the 18th, I will open my Etsy shop. And I will probably bake this flower and sell this also because it could be made into a pendant it could be made into a um what else a pendant or a soft thumbnail print somewhere oh right there could be a pendant you could make it into the you could put it on the end of a pen to decorate a pen you could put it put a pin back on it and wear it as a as a pin as opposed to the pen that I was saying a little while ago. But this is really pretty. I like that. Love these colors. So I will be back again real soon with another polymer clay video. My polymer clay videos are published on Monday mornings at uh, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. So whatever that is in your time zone. But I hope you like this and I will be back soon. Bye-bye.